Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, from past couple of months, I've been working really hard in working out the most affordable courses specifically in Udemy related to machine learning, deep learning, NLP. Along with that, I have also recently launched my course on generative AI. And there I've seen a lot of paid open source models and uh, probably explored multiple platforms for the inferencing purpose from Hugging Face to Grok to different platform and probably created a lot of LLM applications and done the deployment, right? Uh, today in this video, uh, I really want to talk about uh, Llama 3.1, which is recently launched by Meta. And probably this is the most capable model, uh, specifically in the open source world right now. It's completely open source. Anybody can actually use it. And the best thing about this uh, Llama 3.1 is that it also gives a very good competition with all the paid models that are actually available right now in the industry. So in this video, I will be talking about Llama 3.1. So let's go ahead. And this is probably the uh, meta most capable model. So this is the blog page that was launched yesterday itself, right? July 23rd. And trust me, guys, over here, you have this three variants of this particular model. One is 50, uh, 405 billion parameter model. Just imagine right 405 billion right and the other model is in 70 billion and 8 billion before um meta had already launched llama 3 right which was also a 70 billion parameter again there were three variants over there and uh, trust me that was also very capable model we're providing response over and multiple things uh if i talk about llama 3.1 this is a multi-model so if you go ahead and try it in meta ai so I'll just click on this let's say you want to uh uh, see see the power okay i will just show you over here i will just go ahead and write create an animated image of dog jumping in the sofa okay so if i okay i have to probably go ahead and continue with facebook so let me do one thing uh, let me go ahead and log in and my right now this is in incognito mode okay i just want to show you an example and this by this you will be understanding how good this is right so here uh create a animated dog image dog image or jumping in rain water okay i've just written anything as such okay so here you can see that this entire image will probably get created and here you will also be able to try multiple things as such, right? Right now, many people are specifically using this. So see this image. Wow. This is just like, you know, <laughs> this is amazing. Now this you, you are actually able to use in Meta AI, right? So let's say if I go ahead and click on animate now, see, see this entire animation will also specifically happen. So in short, this entire model is a kind of multi-model. It can actually uh, help you to work in text and images which is superly amazing right so let's say um image animated image of robot talking to humans we'll talk more about this uh, but this will actually give you an idea like how powerful this entire image is basically right so here you can see so beautiful right and uh, uh, animated image of Robert talking to human again it has given the same response I don't know why but just to give you an idea this is what it is okay and probably I'll just go ahead and try or you can also go ahead and try different different things over here so uh, in this three and right now you can actually check through that okay or one of the platform and try meta AI but let's talk about the main key uh, takeaways right so this particular uh, model right uh, it expands context length to 128k tokens. Okay, it supports across eight languages and include Llama 3.1405 billion uh, parameters. Uh, the first frontier level open source AI model. Just imagine, guys. Llama 3 before that, I think, was the most best open source models. I think there was also some comparison with respect to Gamma 2. Uh, but right now, I think this is probably the best model. And we'll also try to compare this with, with respect to parameters, okay? So uh, other things in this is that the best thing that they have actually done this time when they have launched this Llama 3.1, they have also uh, made sure that they have provided the access with respect to 25 partners. Yesterday, I was in a meeting with NVIDIA, right? And NVIDIA have also included that 
in the NIM platform, right? NVIDIA NIM. Similarly, you'll be able to see it is available in AWS, Gro uh, NVIDIA, Databricks, Grog, Dell, Azure, Google Cloud, Snowflake, and they are offering the services from day one. And for what charges will basically happen? Only for inferencing purpose, right? So if I go ahead and uh, click on Grok over here, so you'll be able to see it, see? So if you see over here as Grok, okay? Not Frock, it says Grok. Uh, so Grok, okay? So inside this Grok, you'll also be able to see that. Um, quickly, if you go ahead and see this, uh, let me just go back over here and let me open this. So here I will go ahead and write Grok. So with respect to this particular Grok, you'll be able to see that this model is also available, okay? So here you can see Llama 3.170 billion, 80 billion. And uh, along with that, I think right yesterday I could see 405 billion also, but right today it is not available. Okay, so if I probably go ahead and see this, hello, if I go ahead and see it, it is able to give you the response very much quickly. So guys, now let's go to the model evaluation. So here you will be able to see multiple models over here, right? Uh, and it is evaluated first of all with all the paid models like GPT-4, GPT-4, Omni, Cloudy, 3.5 Sonnet. And if I probably see and compare, right? The accuracy with respect to MMLU, IF eval, MMLU Pro, right? So here you can see uh, the performance is well and good when compared to even GPT-4 Omni, right? So here you can see 88.7, 88.6, 74.0, 73.3, 85.6. This is more 88.6. Then here you have 90, 89, 87, 88, 96.1. This is 96.8, 76.6, 73.8. So the accuracy looks very good when compared to all your paid open source model, right? If you probably compare with GPT-4, I think it is beating GPT-4 very much easily. Then you have this Cloudy 3.5 Sonnet. It is also beating them with respect to most of the parameters. Yes, in some of the parameters, this is extending like this case. Here you have 77. Here you have um, 92, 90, right? So this is basically more better. But just imagine this is an open source model it is, and it is being compared with the paid source model itself, right? Um, so this is very good. And here also you'll be able to see the benchmarking comparing with all the open source models. Gamma 2, recently it was launched by Google. It is far more better than this. Llama 3.1, 70 billion with respect to 8 billion also is basically getting compared, right? Um, Llama 3.1405 human evaluation. Here you can probably see with respect to this win, tie and loss, all the thing, information is there. And this is the model architecture. Uh, just by seeing this model architecture, you can probably see this is a model architecture of an encoder, okay? You have the text token, token embedding, self-attention, feed-forward neural network. Then again, self-attention and feed-forward neural network. So this is nothing but uh, this is your entire encoder. And finally, you get the output token. And again, you are basically going to do an auto-regressive decoding, right? So if you have probably taken my course on generative AI or uh, machine learning, there one topic is there with respect to transformers right so here i've explained everything about it uh, what exactly it is so right now if you really want to go ahead and check out my course it is not in 14.99 uh, this is just shown over here but i will be giving you the coupon code in the description of this particular video you can go ahead and check out all these three courses and right now this all these three courses are in the best seller mode so before it's late please go ahead and check it out okay then uh, let's go ahead and talk about this instruction and chat fine tuning so with Llama 3.1405, uh, we strove to improve the helpfulness, quality and detailed instruction following the capability of the model in response to user instruction while ensuring high levels of safety. Our biggest challenge was supporting more capabilities, the 128K context window and increased model size. Okay. Here for fine tuning, uh, they have used supervised fine tuning technique, resistance sampling, direct preference optimization. Okay. Uh, now just by seeing this and you can also go ahead and check this out you know you can give any kind of use cases that you really want to work with any csv file like that it will be able to give you the answer okay and i have actually tried in meta ai you can also go ahead and try it out so unlikely like closed model uh, llama model weights are available to download this is the best thing as i said right this is completely open source but as usual <laughs> these are very huge model the charges that will definitely go is with respect to inferencing right but my suggestion would be that please go ahead and use Grok uh, if you really want to just try it out and see how things works. Okay. Uh, in Grok, almost every model is given. I think 405 
billion parameters model yesterday it was given i when i tried it out but today it is not given because i think there is a lot of request that is coming up out there okay but i think you'll be able to see it so building uh, with llama 3.1405 billion for the average developer use a model scale at this this challenging all this information is basically given now this is really important this is the most important point in which all cloud server this is basically getting integrated so here you have in aws in real time inferencing you can do model evaluation you can do knowledge base you can do safety gra safety gra guard rails you can do synthetic data generation also can be done because why why this synthetic gen data generation understand that uh, uh, even though if i talk about the data that is available in the internet that is with respect to some kind of limited <laughs> in a limited number itself right so now these models are also used to create their own synthetic data and by that also you can actually go ahead and train your models right other than that all those features uh, yesterday as i said i was also attending the nvidia meeting i saw all these features and this was quite amazing right grok right now it has real time inferences probably in the future they'll add all these things similarly you have this microsoft scale snowflake you can go ahead and check it out okay now uh, other than this you can go ahead and download the 3.1 in the hugging face and if you want to get started with this just go ahead and click on this you can go ahead and do it in llama.meta.com uh, here it is the open source ai model which you can fine tune distill and deploy anywhere but trust me the maximum things that usually happens is with respect to your inferencing so you have to make sure that you take care of that okay so yeah i'm quite excited now Mark Zuckerberg is thinking something really different out of the world, right? Coming up with this so much powerful open source model, and later on, you know, in some days probably, ChatGPT will also come up with GPT-5, right? Then again, they will come and come up with some amazing model itself. But as a user who is learning all these things, you should definitely have the knowledge of it. So I hope you like this particular video. And yes, at the end, please do check out all these three courses. I will be giving the link in the description of this particular video. And the best thing about these courses will be that I will keep on updating it. So yes, this was it from my side. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Take care.